Hayastan Al Armenia Fund Projects in all economic sectors of Armenia and Nagorno Karabakh. Construction of roads and water pipelines, building and renovation of health, educational, and cultural institutions, and development of communities. As in the past, the All Armenian Fund once again presents the work it had achieved through uniting the charitable potential of Armenians the world over. It is work proving a better life for communities, security for families, and confidence to the people. The project to rebuild the 116-kilometer Vartanis Martagert Road connecting Nagorno-Karabakh to Armenia commenced in 2014. In its scope and significance, the Vartanis Martagert Roadway is the third largest project undertaken by the All Armenian Fund. It will strengthen the security of Karabakh and breathe new life into the economy, trade and tourism sectors in the northern regions. One year after the project was launched, asphalting the roadway was begun and 50% was completed by the end of the year. The governments of Karabakh and Armenia contributed greatly to the project. They're working well. Everything is normal. We're very thankful. Praise God that they do such good work. We are quite satisfied. May God look over those who contributed the money and the workers too. Words of thanks and satisfaction are directed to those who have invested in this vital project for Karabakh. Special thanks to donors in Armenia and Artsakh and our compatriots in the eastern and western regions of the USA, Lebanon, Iran, Brazil, Italy and Sweden. Twelve community centers had been or were being built in almost all regions of Karabakh in 2015. These centers gather a variety of administrative, social, medical, and cultural services in one location, thus making life for Artsakh rural residents that much easier. The happiness of the people makes us happy. Each construction, whether a community center, school, or hospital, is an honor and great pleasure for us. Nine of the community centers are the result of the united efforts of the Nagorno-Karabakh government and the fund's French affiliate. The government cannot do such things alone, and it is the obligation of the Armenians in the diaspora to help. In the Oskeran region, Canadian Armenians have constructed two community centers. This edifice, in the village of Khansk, is the result of joint financing of the Fund's Montreal branch and the Nagorno-Karabakh government. Instead of building one medical unit in the village, one library and one mayor's office, we assembled them all under one roof and call such places life centers. With resources from Toronto Armenians and the Nagorno-Karabakh government, a kindergarten is also being built next to the life center in the village of Ivanyan. Two buildings in one community at the same time. It's a gift from God. In addition to housing a mayor's office, medical unit, events hall and library, the community center in the village of Khachmach in the Askeran region also serves as a monument symbolizing the pan-Armenian nature of the fund. The building was constructed stone by stone due to donations made by our compatriots in Greece, Cyprus, Lebanon, Holland and Brazil, and co-financing by the Artsakh government. We raise money every year, have fundraisers, and as you see this time, several countries have joined forces so that this Khachmach community center can be built.
The community center in Karindag, a village in the Shushi area, was built with donations from Argentinian-Armenian benefactors Nishan Devejan, Krikor Shimshirolu, and Boros Exerjan, and financing from the Karabakh government. This beautiful building supplements the various projects carried out by the fund in Karintag. <laughs> During the past few years, the All-Armenian Fund has greatly assisted our village in the form of a municipal building, the school gym, as well as round-the-clock water supply. The All-Armenian Fund, due to the will of French-Armenian benefactor Yeznik Mozyan, and financing from the Artsakh government, has constructed an institution in Shushi of unique significance for the economy of Karabakh. It's the Yeznik Mozyan Vocational School. After three years of attending classes, students will be able to work as highly skilled specialists. This is a great achievement. As a building and concept, it's magnificent. There is lots of space, and I'm sure the children will be happy to work here and receive a quality education. Two huge projects are being implemented in Karabakh at the same time due to a donation from Jerry Turpanjan, a benefactor from the western region of the United States. The number nine school in Stepanagerd is being completely renovated and a new school building is being erected in the Martuni village of Sos. Both projects are being implemented with joint financing from the Karabakh <laughs> government. The children are very happy. They have great expectations. An overnight kindergarten is being built in the town of Shushi with a donation by American-Armenian benefactor Hurair Hovnanyan. Armenians in Cyprus have financed computer classrooms in the community of Karvachar in Artsakh's Shahumyan district and in four village high schools. Yerevan's Tchaikovsky Music High School is known as a center for finding and developing talented musicians. Starting from the sixth and seventh grades, its students are already winning international music competitions and playing on prestigious stages. We have a marvelous child, Diana Adamian, who recently played a Bach concert in London with Zuckerman. Such a thing for Armenia, I'd say, is an achievement. This educational center, unique for Armenia, is being totally renovated with donations from USA East Coast Armenians. This kindergarten has been built with the united efforts of local and diasporan Armenians. Enjoy! A new kindergarten in the Ara Gatsotin village of Sasunik was built with funds raised by Armenians in Great Britain. The municipality provided around one-third, 40 million Armenian drum of the total cost. Armenians in Great Britain also presented 166 pupils in the province's communities of Artashavan, Chuknach and Lusakan with school supplies. The school in the village of Melik, Ara Gatsotin province, has been renovated with a donation made by the Surenyan family of Argentina. The Mesrog Mashtot School in the community of Oshakan has been renovated with funds provided by the Altfordville municipality and local Armenians. The Nalbandian family from Canada has undertaken the project to renovate the school in the village of Nalbandian in Armavir province. This charity by Mr. Nalbandian is of vital significance to our village. It will turn our education institution into a modern school. With a donation by the Galchian family of Argentina, the school in the Tavush village of Khacharzan has been totally renovated. The Terzian family has undertaken the project to build a sports center next to the school. 
Luckily, it is ready at the right time for the new school year, and we are happy that our boys will become good students in the new school. At the initiative of the Fund's French affiliate, new furniture has been provided to the Sasunik Village School in Aragatzoten Province, the Urut Village School in Lori, and the Number 5 School in the town of Armavir. The Fund's Western USA affiliate had donated stationary supplies to pupils at 10 art schools in Yerevan and public schools in Armenia and Artsakh. The Fund's Western USA affiliate has financed the renovation of the roof of the number 103 kindergarten in Yerevan's Nor Nork district. American Armenians have also repaired the roof of Yerevan's Nork Infectious Diseases Hospital. It's a very important unit, the liver unit, which is the only one in Armenia, and we are very thankful that the roof of this unit was renovated last year. With donations from Armenians in France and the co-financing from the Artsakh government, the fund has started construction of a new building at Stepanagert's Oncology Center. It is being built on the grounds of a state medical center that opened its doors two years ago and will closely collaborate with existing diagnostic and treatment services. Last fall, the Fund's Western USA affiliate and the Glendale Adventist Medical Center teamed up and launched a program at the medical center in the town of Tavush, allowing residents to get medical exams, be diagnosed, and receive prescriptions for five days straight. Residents were also given free medicine. Certain surgeries were also performed. The All Armenian Fund had already constructed a beautiful building, but there was much work to do inside. When you talk to patients, the first thing they say is that they never expected such a project. With donations from the Galchian, Terzian, and Avakian families from Argentina, Reconstruction of the local water distribution system in the Tavush village of Khachartzan has begun. With funds from Armenians in Australia, two hothouses were built in the Tavush village of Khachartzan. Donations from Armenians in Argentina were used to build hothouses for 31 families in the Tavush communities of Kirans, Baranis, Basashen, Aigehovit, and Ditavan. For the past few years, we've wanted to implement projects to help people find work, to fill their stomachs and pockets. The Devejan family from Argentina has started to build an open-air sports field and playground next to the community center in Bavra, which they also built. The Devejan family also donated furniture, a computer classroom and sports clothes to the village school. We will continue our assistance and we'll do what we can so that the people of Bavra and Armenia can live as well as possible. With a donation from Hofsep Himidian from Argentina, a special classroom was built at Yerevan's number 8 school for children with speaking disorders, where senior pupils learn cooking skills. With donations from Armenians in Switzerland, an indoor swimming pool, designed as therapy for children with special needs, has been built at the Gyumri Children's Home. We can achieve much with this swimming pool. There will come a time when I can show you how our children can swim unaided, without inflatable devices. The Haute de Seine Regional Council and the Fund's French affiliate have teamed up to create the Himna Tavush Development Fund in Tavush province. The fund is achieving tangible results in the development of agriculture, and its projects target gardening and animal husbandry in the area.
In 2015, the Fund has continued to provide assistance to the children of first-rank disabled war veterans. The Fund's Austria affiliate has participated in the program. The Fund's Western USA affiliate is carrying out another program for injured war veterans, in collaboration with war vet Hrant Tumasyan, who resides in Los Angeles. I know the guys who needs what in their conditions. I'm also trying to improve their lives in some way. For the past two years, this project has sent specially refitted cars, electric wheelchairs and other essential items from the United States to Armenia for use by war veterans with special needs. In 2014 and 2015, the Fund's Western USA affiliate and the ARTN Shant TV station in Los Angeles joined forces and organized a special TV marathon to provide housing to homeless families in Gyumri. Twenty-one families received apartments with the funds raised by the marathon and individual donations by benefactors. The funds affiliate in Germany donated apartments to two other families. The benefactors arrived and surprised us by giving us an apartment. We went and saw that everything was included, a stove, washing machine, and even a vacuum cleaner. There were also beds for the kids, which we didn't expect. The Borosian and Sons Foundation has awarded presidential awards to those working in the fields of sciences and culture and to young artists. The Near East Foundation, formerly the American Committee for Relief in the Near East, has won in the category of having a significant contribution in the recognition of the Armenian Genocide for showing inestimable assistance and saving the lives of thousands of refugees and orphans who survived the Armenian Genocide by funds raised by the American people. Twenty-three women survivors of the genocide, now living in Armenia, received one-time payments of one million Armenian drom. Traditional fundraising events marked the close of 2015. There were dinners, the phonathon, France, Germany, Switzerland, Greece and Brazil, and the radiothon in Lebanon. The culmination was the telethon in Los Angeles. The objective was to construct private homes for needy families in Artsakh with five or more children. $10,378,465 in donations and pledges were raised, thus guaranteeing new projects benefiting the Armenian nation. <laughs>